hikes in seven days. Day five. For day five, we took the Lagoon Trail that starts in Farmington at Lagoon, up through the backside, and over to Farmington Pond Park, which turned out to be a really fun area to explore. And this is the campground that we usually stay at. It's pretty fun, isn't it? Yep, sure. That's one of the funnest things that we do is stay at this camp campground, and then you just go over to Lagoon and have a great time. Yes? There's also a river yeah. near the campground, and we love it. That's Lena's favorite stream. She's been playing that for years. <laughs> Wow. This is the backside of Lagoon where all the animals are. You can take that train right around, but you get to see them from over here in the trail. It's really quite cool. What do you think, Lena? They're cute. Cute, huh? Mm hmm. Oh. So Lena is saying she's the cutest. <laughs> Keep going. It's true. My dad was the handsomest. He was 0.1% handsomer than Mason. Point one. <laughs> Mason, it's our little cave! Alright, it's kind of weird. So I can stand up completely. There's a little thing, there's a little hole right here. I'm gonna come out. Huh? Was that ah. fun? <laughs> yeah. Alright. You went to Disneyland and you basically shut Disneyland down, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, opening I, to closing. I went on a lot of new roller coasters, yeah. and I feel like I would want to go on that one. On a couple of them at Lagoon now, because I think I almost obliterated my fear of roller coasters. Go on Cannibal! Awesome. Go on Cannibal. No, not Speaking of Cannibal, Sorry. there it is in the background. Cannibal! It's my favorite. And you used to say, I don't want to go to... I don't want to go I, to Lagoon. There's so many bees. Yeah. You even said, I don't want to go to Paris because there's flowers around the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. It kind of scared me. But um, I think I'm doing better. I, you just have to calm down. A second ago, I wasn't very calm. I was kind of scared. But then after that, I straight away calmed down. Mm, nice. They can sense fear. <laughs> they can sense fear. Just like rabid dogs, right? Ugh. Rabid dogs can totally sense fear. All right, we're gonna go straight up this way. This Farmington, Farmington Creek, Creek Trail. Trail. And I guess it's like the flowers are blooming. So it feels like springtime. Well, because it kind of is. It is springtime. It's FYI, spring. it's springtime. It's springtime. It's so pretty. We have now, we have things like cars and Xboxes. Yeah, we do. Cars, Xbox, PS4, computers, yeah. phones. I think it would be cool to live in nature, but a bit hard because like, you know, the rain. So you would have to just like live under other people's roofs. You have to live under here. So what's life like living in nature? Um, it's probably very peaceful, but uh, when it starts raining, you have to find cover and it's a bit stressful. You can't, and you have to, when you're hungry, you have to find food on the floor. You have to make sure it's not poisonous. Oh, yeah. Really pretty flowers. Um, they actually smell really good. It's like super sweet, like what you would expect, and that's a bee. Bees are harvesting pollen for honey. There's a little tunnel that goes under the road that leads up to the ponds. We accidentally went over. Yeah, we, ac now. we accidentally went over the road and then we had no idea where to go from there, huh? Where do we go now? Where do we go now? We'll probably just put rocks, mud, rocks, mud, and like concrete in there somewhere. Yeah, but what, if the water's coming through the whole time, what's stopping the water from knocking everything down before it dries? Rocks. Rocks. Actually, what they do is they deter the, they make the, the river go a different way while they build it. Then they block off that side and let the water um, build up against the dam. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hey, Mason, you want to skip a rock? Oh, heck yeah, actually. Vibrations! Oh, that one, that one 
time like this. That was cool. One, two, three. There you go. Three. Oh, that was like four. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. Red. I think they know where to get it, Lena. Lena, are you able to hear things when you're walking with your eyes closed? Did I, you say that you were able to feel when somebody's next to you? Yeah, I feel their heat. <laughs> I feel my arm. Mason, stop laughing. I, I agree funny. with Lena. I think you can. <laughs> and whether it's your other senses saying, I can hear them, I know there's someone there, or maybe you're feeling like wind from somebody, right? Yeah, but I also feel like if they're super close, like... Hovering, almost hovering against me. Mm -hmm. My arm here sense it, and also I can feel the heat of their thing. Also, Mason said, uh, Mason put his arms behind my eyes, and then I, I'm like, push them away, because I saw the shadow. I'm not keeping my eyes completely. Yeah, like, you can. I'm not squinting them super high. Yeah, that you're I can't not. See. You're not absolutely blind. You've got some. You can see light coming in through your eyelid. You right? can see shadows. Yeah. Mason.